Academy of St. Patrick Parish Multipurpose Cooperative. Before the St. Patrick Credit Cooperative was born, a missionary came to Casibu in the person of Reverend Father Jerry Bocart, who was then the parish priest of Bambang Nueva Vizcaya, and his circuit was Casibu. On his way to Casibu, the road was very muddy, and he saw the kind of living the people of Casibu have. There were two questions came to his mind. How will I preach if their stomach are starving? What will I do to help improve and increase their income? With the two questions, he then decided to organize a cooperative wherein he believed that this will address the needs and help a lot in the lives of the people of Casibu. He then met the active volunteers of the church in the person of Mrs. Beatrice D. Castillo, Mrs. Ida A. Lopez, and Mrs. Luz L. De Palma. He sent them to trainings with his own expense. After their trainings, they organized a cooperative and the St. Patrick Credit Cooperative was born last September 17, 1987. There were 15 cooperators and the initial working capital of 2,412 pesos. The first members of the board, Mrs. Luz L. De Palma, as the president, Mrs. Agapita U. Benito, as the vice president, Mrs. Ida A. Lopez, as the secretary. Mr. Maria Victoria Castillo and Mr. Alfredo Yubulong were the members. From 1987 to 1993, the appointed manager was Mrs. Beatrice D. Castillo. From 1987 to 1989, the office of the cooperative was located at the left wing of the old chapel. And from 1990 to 1994, it was relocated at the left wing of the old chapel. From 1994 to the present, the new building was constructed through the help and initiative of Reverend Father Jose Van Galen, the assigned parish priest from 1990 to 2001. The painting was solicited from the LGU Casibu under the administration of Honorable Alberto D. Bumulo Jr., the mayor of the municipality. In 1990, the name of the cooperative was amended from St. Patrick Credit Cooperative to St. Patrick Parish Multipurpose Cooperative. To address the needs of the members, the initial products, services, and programs of the cooperative were Regular Loan Petty or Emergency Loan Agricultural Loan Regular Savings Youth Feed Savings Birthday Savings Rice Retailing Services Feeds Retailing Services St. Patrick Agricultural Program Pig Dispersal for Youth Organization Reverend Father Jerry Bocart donated the first equipments used by the cooperative like the typewriter, calculators, and cabinet with volt.
from 1989 to 1995, a seed capital was received from Caritas Agency, Eiderboon Allen, and Rabobank of Belgium and Netherlands in the amount of 752,606.10 pesos. The Board of Directors Mrs. Luz L. De Palma, the chairperson from 1987 to 1988. Mr. Domingo B. Benito, the chairperson from 1998 to 1989 and from 1992 to 1997. Mrs. Teresa T. Hupalar, the chairperson from 1989 to 1991. Mrs. Cristina L. Cadoy, the chairperson from 1991 to 1992. Mr. Miguel B. De La Cruz. The chairperson from 1997 to 2001 and from 2002 to 2007. Mrs. Generosa I. Domingo, the chairperson from 2008 to 2013. Mrs. Catherine P. Bullong, the chairperson from 2001 to 2002 and at present. In 1995, a consumer store was opened to address the basic needs of the members and become the mediator of prices because of two big groceries in the locality. In 1998, a baby savings deposit was opened. This type of deposit was opened from 0 to 3 years old. At the same year, salary loan was opened to agencies whose employees receiving salaries in cash. From 1999 to 2005, the cooperative was assisted by the Cascade through their technical assistance. The Foundation for a Sustainable Society, FSSI, supported the cooperative through their financial and technical assistance from 2005 to 2010. The National Livelihood Support Fund, now called the National Livelihood Development Corporation, also support the cooperative through their financial and technical assistance from 2005 to the present with approved credit line of 6 million pesos. It was registered to the Cooperative Development Authority last April 27, 1994 and was registered to the Republic Act 9520 otherwise known as the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008 last November 23, 2009. Cooperative received a grant from the Philippine Business for Social Progress in the amount of 500,000 pesos in the year 2010. The grant was used for the construction of the SPPMPC multipurpose building. The building cost 4,300,000 pesos. The fund was raised by encouraging the members to add their share capital. Last July 2, 2012, the SPPMPC multipurpose building was opened and blessed by Reverend Father Jerry Bocart. The 
Cooperative is presently affiliated to Agriskaya Federation of Cooperative. Nueva Vizcaya Federation of Agrarian Reform Assisted Cooperative, NV Farak. Northeast Luzon Credit Cooperative, NELCO. Metro South Cooperative Bank. And the Cooperative Bank of Nueva Vizcaya. At present, the cooperative is an active partner of LGU Casibu. The Department of Agrarian Reform. The Cooperative Development Authority. The Philippine National Police Casibu. And the Department of Education Casibu. Last August 2013, the cooperative implemented the computerization program of all transactions. The cooperative is presently engaged in credit lending, savings, consumer and general merchandising, Marketing of agri-products and inputs. And rentals of facilities and equipments. As of December 31, 2013, the cooperative was a total asset of 75,768,000 243.67 pesos with 1,665 members. St. Patrick Saint Parish Patrick Multiple Post Cooperative Vision. A cooperative of financially stable members with morally socially and spiritually uplifted lives. St. Patrick Parish Multipurpose Cooperative Mission to provide proactive and responsive programs, products, and services. St. Patrick Parish Multipurpose Cooperative Goals Instill professionalism to our members, officers, and management staff through continuing education. To deliver proactive and responsive programs, products, and services. ensure financial viability through safe and sound operations. To ensure total satisfaction of the members, officers, employees, and the community. St. Patrick Parish Multipurpose Cooperative Core Values Spiritual Trustworthy Prosperity Accountability Transparency Responsibility Responsibility 
integrity. Communication and competency. And knowledge. The St. Patrick Parish Multipurpose Cooperative was being guided by the seven cooperative principles adopted by the International Cooperative Alliance in 1995. It was founded in the first modern cooperative in Rockdale, England, 1844. Open and voluntary membership. Cooperatives are voluntary organizations. Open to all persons able to use their services and willing to accept the responsibilities of membership without gender, social, racial, cultural, political, and religious discrimination. Democratic Member Control Cooperatives are democratic organizations that are controlled by their members who actively participate in setting their policies and making decisions. Men and women serving as elected representatives, directors, or officers are accountable to the membership. In primary cooperatives, Members have equal voting rights of one member, one vote. Cooperatives at other levels are organized in the same democratic manner. Member economic participation. Members contribute equitably to and democratically control the capital of their cooperatives. At least part of that capital is common property of the cooperative. They shall receive limited compensation or limited interest, if any, on capital subscribed and paid as condition of membership. Members allocate surpluses for any or all of the following purposes. Developing the cooperative by setting up reserves, part of which should at least be indivisible. Benefiting members in proportion to their patronage of the cooperative's business and supporting other activities approved by the membership. Autonomy and Independence Cooperatives are autonomous, self-help organizations controlled by their members. If they enter into agreements with other organizations, including government, or raise capital from external sources, they shall do so on terms that ensure democratic control of their members and maintain their cooperative autonomy. Education, Training, and Information Cooperatives shall provide education and training for their members, elected and appointed representatives, managers, and employees so that they can contribute effectively and efficiently to the development of their cooperatives. Cooperation among cooperatives. Cooperatives serve their members most effectively and strengthen the cooperative movement by working together through local, national, regional, and international structures. Concern for Community Cooperatives work for the sustainable development of their communities through policies approved by their members. For more videos and updates of St. Patrick Parish Multipurpose Cooperative, follow us on our social media accounts. 